although its arrival has been eagerly anticipated, I now can see the sun occasionally breaking through the clouds and illuminating the dust on the furniture and the dirt on the windows. It's a great reminder that it's time for spring cleaning. Spring is the time of year when we not only clean every cupboard and every window, but we sort through all our clothes and ask, is this still me? Will I lose five pounds so it fits? Should I keep my just in case I gain 10 pounds pants? Should I get rid of this hockey jersey that I've had since circa 1980? Ultimately, we consider what we should get rid of and where we should donate it. I'm Suzanne F. Stevens, Conscious Contribution Cultivator for the You, Me, We group. Welcome to We Wednesdays, a short weekly video infusion of how to lead tomorrow's legacy today by consciously contributing to your community, country, and beyond. Well, the answer to the question of where to donate your unwanted clothes is often we end up doing what's most convenient and not donating them. Throwing your clothes into the trash is never ideal. Landfills are filling at a rapid rate, not to mention contributing to the environmental toxins. In 2013 alone, over 12 million tons of clothes were sent to landfills in North America. The next consideration is the donation box. Some of those convenient used clothes drop boxes are destined for international shores. You may be thinking, great, developing countries could benefit from your slightly used clothes. Well, here's another perspective. One day, my husband and I were walking through Kampala, Uganda, and a young man kept, caught our attention. He was wearing a hockey jersey with the logo of a Canadian company my husband used to work for. Well, how did it get there? How did it get on his back? Well, it was bought at a local market for about a dollar. Now, how did it get to the market? Well, during spring cleaning, you or a family member threw it in the collection bin. It was gathered and bundled and packed, shipped to in a container destined for the shores of Africa. It was shipped to a warehouse where street merchants bought bundles of clothes by the pound. Those clothes end up at local markets and presto, a mother buys your discarded hockey jersey for their young son. Wonderful contribution, right? Well, exporting all these unwanted clothes has impacted the clothing manufacturing industry in many developing countries in Africa. Several women we interviewed on wisdomexchangetv.com would suggest paralyze the industry. African clothing manufacturers couldn't compete with the low cost of clothes imported from more developed nations. We save local landfills and inadvertently suppress development in developing countries. In 2014, East African countries imported more than 300 million of secondhand clothes from wealthy nations. Imagine how many jobs that could have created locally and had we not donated our secondhand clothes to have been destined to Africa. Manufacturing allows countries to be self-reliant. Importing finished goods promotes dependency and therefore sabotages the economy. East African countries don't want used clothes being sent to them. But like with any form of aid, people become dependent on it and businesses set up around it locally and internationally. If used clothes sales were to stop in East Africa, it would cost jobs in the short term, but it's believed that it would create manufacturing jobs in the long term, allowing more sustainable solutions. Make my contribution count means we are conscious that our contributions are not disempowering the people they are intended to empower. Until next time, make your contributions count. <laughs>